Good morning. It's Saturday morning here at the top of the world, top of the United States anyway. I think we're about the yeah. farthest north that you can get. I don't know if Maine is further. Yeah. But Maybe or Lind Alaska. Linden, well, we're the farthest Contiguous. north. Contiguous. West. Yeah, there you go. Especially if you get out to point, uh, what's in that point called? Uh, Deception I'm Pass? Not helping you. Anyway, <laughs> out by the ocean. We've been there, but we just flattery. can't. Flattery. Yeah. <laughs> Cape Flattery. Cape Flattery. There, there we go. So just a heads up, we have Winnie and Berkey, Winnie's new little uh, brother running around. You might hear them uh, bark Wrestling. occasionally. So <laughs> that's just the way it is here at the Powell's Urban Homestead. Forest. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever we are. Yeah, you want to tell them what we do, honey? Yeah, I will. It's currently 41. So we're sp the weather forecast for Port Angeles is, what, Cold. 16 next week? Yeah. 16, and 18 snow. degrees. So we may be in the snow next week. Yeah. Anyway, we're we're realtors, and uh, we're currently under the covering of Keller Williams, and soon to be Ideal Real Estate. It's a the group we're with now is breaking off and being independent local. Yeah. It's not a national group, so it'll be good. <clears throat> there are many reasons why they're changing. And we're just going along with the flow. <laughs> going with the flow. <laughs> that means we have to change everything, but anyway. Okay, so um, <laughs> there's really only six homes in both Squim and Port Angeles three this week three. that have closed. And uh, every week, if this is your first time tuning in, we will uh, kind of review the homes that have closed in the last seven days in the North Olympic Peninsula, in mainly Squim and Port Angeles and the outlying areas. So. Um, we're going to start with Port Angeles. We stop start with the least expensive homes and uh, kind of go up the ladder a little bit. So, yeah, um, these aren't really least expensive. The ones this well, week. These are all very reasonably priced. Yeah. And I th we thought we'd chat a little bit of why they're priced the way they are, and what was the value. Yeah. So, let's see what we can do about so, this. So, and we do recognize that if you're if you're watching from Tennessee, Arkansas, Texas that uh, home values are considerably different. And um, I don't know how it got that way, but it is. But anyway, so. Um, Let's go. The first one is on Place Road. And the Place Road is uh, west of here, oh, by uh, probably about 10 minutes. And it's right on the water. So we have very few, wa we call it walk on water. In other words, there's no walk cliff. Out, not walk on. Well, that's Jesus. But <laughs> <laughs> Walk out walk, water. Walk out water, yeah. So you walk out your door. And no you don't, bank water you don't, Yeah, you don't have to go downstairs or anything. So Yeah, you go out the back yard and you're on the yeah. salt water. There, there's probably no more than about 100 homes that have that capacity. So a big part of the value of this particular place is that factor. It's, it's walk to the water, we'll say. But there was a shack there. So it's listed as a home. Yeah. Not so. land. One, so, go ahead. So, yeah, half a million bucks <laughs> for um, 784 square feet, uh, kind of a place you could probably stay dry in. So, um, originally priced for 535, and it was sold at 517. It has one bedroom, one full bath, and five days days on the market. So, you're on Place Road. If you can pri price it um, where the market is for Place Road, it'll sell quickly. And it has, uh, all, you know, um, just under an acre, 0.85 of an acre, and their view is definitely salt water. And it was built in 1942, and it had 748 square feet. They'll probably tear it down. Okay, yeah. Okay. 42, wow. <coughs> all right, the second house in Port Angeles um, was on West 10th Street. It's a new build, listed for 545. It sold for 550. Wow. Three, three bedrooms, two baths, one day on the market. It's one day on the market. Built this year was 1604 square feet on 0.22 of an acre in Mountain View. The reason this one was priced that way and, and went over asking probably is because it's brand new. Yeah. It's in a neighborhood. They've been developing this area. They're all alike, though. Yeah, they're very similar. <laughs> and 
uh, if anyway, you don't mind that. there it is. So um, the last home in Port Angeles is on Lily. And do you know if it is it Lily Lane? I don't know. Lily Street Road. We don't know. It's on Lily anyway. And originally priced for six hundred fifty-five thousand, sold for six hundred and thirty. Three bedrooms, two baths. 11 days on the market, built in 1990, with 1,666 square feet. And it has um, uh, 8.67 acres. So got a little spot there and in paradise. And they have a territorial view. This is actually a manufactured home as well. Good, and why did it, why was it priced for a manufactured home for 655? Uh, probably the acreage in this case. That's a little high for manufactured homes. Okay, moving on to Squim. Scott Drive is our first one of the three. <laughs> um, originally priced at three fifty, it went for three ninety. Um, two bedrooms, two and a half baths, four days on the market. Built in nineteen eighty five with thirteen twenty two square feet on a nice acre with a mountain view. Um, it looks like it has outbuildings, maybe a little bit. I'm not sure why it went over asking. Good grief. Somebody well, it wanted to be in that neighborhood. Those yeah. are the dogs. Used, used to be anything under uh, 200 would fly off the shelf, then it bumped up to 300. <laughs> and I think it's under 400 now, so maybe that's why. Uh, the next one is on Madrona Way in Squim. <coughs> and um, originally priced and sold at 429950 And it has, gosh, um, one bedroom, one full bath, six days on the market, built in 2010 with 1,132 square feet and um, with about a half, a half an acre, a little under, and they have a saltwater view. And, and why? Well, who knows? Probably the view looks pretty good. They're looking at Mount Baker there. and um, Well, yeah. Usually these homes that only have one bedroom tend to be nicer, like the, the home we're building on the alley, it just has one bedroom, but it is gonna be so nice when we're done. And um, We will give you a tour. <coughs> we'll have a Excuse reveal, me. how's that? Yeah. I wanna do a reveal. Yeah, some of you have requested a tour, but we wanna, it's only, we're only a few weeks away from being completely done with it, so we're gonna wait until it's done and we can blow the horn and have then a little. Then we're gonna have a party. Yeah, then we're gonna have a party. Okay, so, the final house, were you done with that one? Yeah. <clears throat> the final house is on Goldenrod Lane. <clears throat> Listed for 475, it sold for 474,700, $300 less. Two bedrooms, two and a half baths, seven days on the market. Built in 07 with 1537 square feet, smaller lot, 0.11 and a neighborhood view. Okay. I, I think, is Goldenrod the one way up? I don't know where that is. I don't know. And it's is newer, 07. Yeah. Nice size. 07 being newer. Very small. <laughs> well, newer than 1942. <laughs> yeah. I know, and that funny 07 is... Older. Older. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Really. Okay, so just a shout out. Hello, Peter. Good to see you. Yeah. I walked into the paint store a while back, and uh, Peter says, I know you. Uh, I didn't know him, but I do now. So um, Peter works at the paint store that I'm going to, and uh, he's get fence paint in the alley house. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. and uh, I used to be a professional painter before I became everything else. I still still like doing it, but um, so when when you know if you're actually looking about moving to this area, um, do not call. You know if you're getting specific about a home, don't call the listing agent. And the here's name on the sign, don't yeah, call that one. Don't call them. They want you to do that. And um, some, some of that is from back in the day when um, uh, d being dual agent, so the listing agent would like to do represent you and the seller. Means they get um, double the money. Yeah, get a double, double the uh, commission. commission for not much more work. And so that is almost unheard of anymore, and that's because of the, the legal climate that the real estate industry is in right now, and you've heard about this lawsuit, and that's uh, fomenting some uncertainty. So uh, call us, that's my, po my point. Don't call the listing agent, call Brent and Amy. Yeah, you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want the same attorney representing 
the husband and wife in a divorce. You yeah. know, it's just, because they have the best interest of the person selling it yeah. is actually who they have the best interest. And then if, if um, in the case of um, specifically of a recent transaction, the selling agent will then want to refer you to one of their agents, a good referral. And that's basically motivated by wanting that 25% commission <laughs> that most referrals bring with them. So they say, oh, I've got the greatest agent to be your buyer's agent. Would you, let me contact her. Well, they have an agreement, so when they sometimes refer- Sometimes they haven't met. Either. Yeah, sometimes they don't even know each other, aside from on the conversation on the phone. So A really, lot of things to look into. Yeah, so call, you know, who are you gonna call? Well, okay. Brent, Brent Amy. So what do you got there, Brent? Okay, so I have from, and Logan's gonna post this, uh, just a quick summary it's of the blow. market in the last three years, which is produced by Brody Broker Team with Kelly Williams. Thank you to you guys if you watch. And um, for instance, and this goes 20, 21, 22, 23, so there's three years covered. Average days on market in 19, tw or 2020, it was 48 days. 21, a year later, 22, so the market's picking up. And then in 20, that was 21. And then in 22, 26 days. And in um, 23, it was average days on the market were 43 days. So staying on the market a little bit longer. Uh, average list price, and this is where it, it's real obvious. In um, 2020, it was just a skosh under 400,000. And then in one year, the average list price jumped to um, 469,000 about a hundred thousand higher last year last at uh, 21 and then in 22 it jumped to 505,000 whoa excuse me and now uh, in our last year um, excuse me whoo whoo hang on Berkey is gonna tangle up in my mic cord nope hang on Berkey here here we go there we go and so then last year it jumped to 509, and that was a big surprise because um, the market slowed way down and we're all thinking, well, um, prices will come down. Yeah, prices are gonna come down, but combined with high interest rates, which had gotten up to the eights, and luckily are now back down to the sixes. Uh, so that's loosening up the market a little bit for people that finance. Um, so then this last year it was 509, up just a little bit from 503 the previous year. And the difference between uh, list price and sold price, on average, is about eight thousand. Hasn't changed much. Less or which way? Eight thousand less. Um, last year it was two thousand <coughs> less. The year before that was six thousand over. That's when the uh, market glory days. Yeah, <laughs> glory days. <laughs> the market was cooking. You know, everybody would 21. be put in. You might get five or ten offers, and everybody's over asking. So. <sighs> Yeah. And then the number of sales also indicative. So, 20 years ago, when things were cheap, cheaper, 1,300 sales in the year. Last year, or 21 rather, 1,500. What? I wanted to get over with. Okay, she wants me to hurry up. <laughs> and so, 2022, 1,100, and um, number of sales this last year are uh, one, just a little over a thousand. And so, in our area, there's roughly 300 realtors. So when you have 300 people trying to make their living doing this. Selling It'll, a thousand homes. Yeah, so, so that's not, I think we're gonna see a little washout with real estate agents and that happens yeah. normally. They already have, yeah. So a lot of, but amazingly, there's still people coming into real estate, so who knows. Yeah, there you have it. Okay. And land, let me. Let okay, me. yeah, Amy's gonna do the land and we have a separate chart for that. Logan will po uh, post the land as well. I'll be briefer. So on the land, the noticeable thing was in 2020, which was COVID year, there were 239 average days on the market. And then this year it was 122. So it picked up a little bit. The average price in, o in 2020 was 136,000. And this was 204 this past year. Um, Can you throw the ball, maybe? And the total number of sales, this is the, the really the info. In 2021, it peaked at 480 total sales for land. 
this past year it was 199 so a significant drop significant and um yeah the, a couple of factors with land is uh because of the new building code that's uh, which washington state has adopted from california which means if you're building outside of the city um your house needs to be fireproof you know you, you can't have anything on the outside of the house that could burn yeah um you know concrete siding and no and you would and you would need to have your building uh permit approved or submitted just submitted submitted by the end of march end of march coming year. up yeah and so uh, that's kind of really spikes you know it's kind of funny because we have all these regulations that make building a home more and more expensive but yet we have a political movement well we need affordable homes and we do. Uh, we, we have. Do need a, okay. We have, and we do. <coughs> so we have what they call rival competing priorities. You know, yeah. one is pushing prices up; the other is uh, so wanting lower it. prices. So anyway, uh, it's been a great being with you guys again. And uh, if you're in our neighbor uh, neighborhood, please give us a shout. Yeah, we is, have a couple people coming. Yeah. You know, they're going to yeah. stop by, ask about the market, and yeah, see Port Angeles maybe for the first time. Yeah, which will be fun. We, we like to meet you, and uh, especially if you have decided Port Angeles is where you, you're planning on coming here, yeah. that puts you up at the top of the list, as opposed to if you have six close possibilities you're surveying. <laughs> yeah. So I put you down kind of at the lo bottom of our list of priorities. We still so. want to meet you there, yeah. so anyway. Anything, anything else? Anything else, Logan? I don't think so. Awesome. Okay. You guys can do tours, right? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we do. I don't know. We do bicycle tours, so uh, if you want to, <laughs> you freeze to death, Logan. <laughs> you do to car tours. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Did we tell him what the intro was? Forks. Forks. Logan and Elaine are going to Forks today. Yeah. Because it's sunny here. It might not be sunny there. You know, Forks you know. has the happiest people around because all the depressed people. <laughs> Moved away because it rains all the time over there. So. They have lots of bars. Yeah. <laughs> but it's <laughs> a cool place. Loggers and bars. A lot of, uh, everybody, average amount of ammunition everybody in Forks has is probably <laughs> ten to 20,000 rounds. So <laughs> behave. <laughs> behave. <laughs> Sorry. The end. <laughs> okay.